Hello and uh, welcome back to uh, another video in this mini-series uh, regarding the uh, lighting feature uh, of version 4.1 uh, for Fantasy Grounds Unity. It's likely to be the last one and we'll be uh, looking uh, in this video at Token Vision. Uh, so we need, as usual, a map. Uh, so let's just uh, select this one, uh, the same one as we had in the last video. Um, if we unlock the map, uh, we can see that we've got uh, our uh, lighting enabled. And if we go to our lighting menu, then the uh, last one that we haven't looked at is the token vision. Uh, this one is, uh, the panel here is similar to the ones that we've seen before. We've got uh, a near and far range. We have fall-offs. We've got an on-off and we've got uh, various presets and we've also got buttons to add and remove vision and we've got a little widget up there at the top. Um, now in order to, if we if we just uh, quickly go to the player view, there is nothing there because there is no light on the uh, map and there are no tokens on the map um, and none of the tokens have uh, light, uh, light sources. So uh, we need to get a token on the map, so let's uh, switch to our combat tracker here and we're going to put Bob on the map. Now if we have a look at Bob, we can see that Bob's a hill dwarf and he has got a dark vision to 60 feet as a part of his senses. Now the fantasy grounds recognises this, so when we put Bob onto the map, let's uh, plonk him down here. You can see that immediately um, he is able to see out to the range of his dark vision. And if we have a look at the player view, we can see this more clearly. The dark vision sort of shows correctly the map in the shades of grey that you would expect and that the rules uh, say that the uh, vision should um, show. Um, and you can see out to the range of his uh, dark vision. You can see that uh, here is his limit uh, and he's able to see right out to the full range of his dark vision. Um, and this works for uh, enemies as well, for NPCs too. Um, if we have a look at uh, some NPCs here, let's uh, get some, uh, let's get this draw uh, onto the uh, combat tracker. Uh, and let's uh, place this draw uh, over here. Uh, and when we select the drow, when it's the drow's turn, um, we can see that the drow has got dark vision out to a range of 120 feet, just like it says on the uh, character sheet here, uh, or the uh, NPC sheet. And this drow here can see uh, Bob, uh, and if we have a look at uh, the player's view, um, Bob can't see the drow because his dark vision is only 60 feet, um, but the drow can see 120. So the drow is able to see across this map, um, but can't see. Uh, uh, but Bob can't see uh, the other side of it. And it's not until uh, Bob gets into a uh, range of the drow um, that he's able to uh, see it uh, with his uh, dark vision. Now, of course, the line of sight and everything that also blocks the. Uh, Th this token, um, but in this case he, he can see, he can't see the drow there because his dark vision just doesn't reach far enough, uh, but as soon as he steps forward the drow will pop up. Uh, but on the DM screen the drow has been able to track Bob's progress all the way from this end of the map uh, to where he is now. Uh, so let's now have a look at Jane. Uh, Jane uh, doesn't have uh, dark vision, she doesn't have any special senses. So when we uh, place Jane onto the map, let's put her over here, um, then she uh, can see uh, nothing at all because uh, she doesn't have any kind of vision. Uh, we can give her one of the uh, presets if we wanted to, if we go to token vision. And we can select from the drop down here the kind of visions we might want to give her. So perhaps she has been the recipient of a true sight spell or something similar. So if we wanted to give um, this uh, the Jane uh, the true sight, then we make sure that uh, Jane's selected as the token, and then we can add 
the uh, vision there and as you can see now uh, Jane can see the uh, uh, map uh, in accordance with the area uh, that the uh, true site spell or the true site uh, allows her to see. Uh, I'll go back to play mode so that we can move her around um, and as we uh, move her uh, around then she begins to see uh, tokens. We can see that um, Bob is now lit up because um, he wasn't here um, but he is uh, here because she he's now inside her uh, field of view uh, and uh, as we can move forward uh, then she will oops uh, then she will uh, be able to view the the drow as well once she gets into the range of her true sight um, you can uh, remove the uh, vision uh, that you've got depending on what the situation is so if we wanted to remove uh, the true sight from um, Jane then uh, we can do so you can just uh, click the delete vision button and we also have a uh, blind sight as well which we could give her and as you can see with the blind sight it kind of uh, lights up or the, the light is a kind of a bluish uh, sort of uh, area uh, that she's able to uh, see uh, we can also uh, remove uh, existing uh, sites uh, from particular creatures. So, for example, if for whatever reason this drow were to uh, lose um, his uh, dark vision, if we select the drow and we have the uh, token vision open, we can see that the uh, stats here uh, are showing that the uh, vision is out to 120 and that um, the drow has dark vision. Um, and we can see this button here it shows that it's on uh, so if for whatever reason the drow lost the uh, ability during a combat or something like that we can toggle the vision here um, by just clicking on that uh, button and now the drow is effectively uh, blind it's uh, not going to be able to see uh, the uh, characters because it has lost its uh, vision and neither of the characters are carrying a light source as such because these this is vision so if they were carrying a torch then they, you may be able to see but because they've just got a, a vision type then uh, the drow isn't going to be able to see because he's, he's lost his uh, power of sight um, and we can uh, add that back in again uh, when he gets it back we could also remove the vision altogether uh, by using the delete uh, vision button um, so uh, let's uh, remove um, in play mode again. Uh, let's remove uh, Bob here from the uh, equation for the moment, and we'll just leave uh, Jane uh, on the map. Um, we'll also uh, remove her uh, vision, uh, her, her, her blind sight. Um, so supposing we've got a scenario where um, Jane's uh, carrying some kind of uh, torch um, but um, you want to limit vision to with to less than what the uh, sight or, or the range of the uh, light source that she's carrying well we can do that as well so the first thing we need to do is to uh, give uh, Jane some kind of light source uh, so let's go into our effects panel uh, we'll make sure that it's uh, Jane's turn uh, on the combat tracker and uh, let's give her uh, a lamp and we can see now that she's got a lamp and it's uh, lighting up the area uh, 15 feet bright and 45 feet uh, out to uh, dim um, but let's say this area here is covered in some kind of obscuring fog uh, and maybe limits her vision somewhat um, so we can do this but we need to create an effect in order to achieve this um, we can create the effect here if we wanted to uh, or we can uh, create the effect into Jane's uh, action tab in the normal way so let's just create it in here since it's different uh, so we, the keyword is vision and then we need to give it a, a, a range uh, and let's say in this case we just give it a range of uh, 10 um, and then we can add in here, we can uh, add in all of the various uh, presets and in the 5e rule site we can also add in devil's sight so we can have um, dark vision 
uh, or we could have a devil sight um, or we can have either of the other two uh, vision types true sight um, and blind sight uh, and we can just add those as a parameter but if we don't uh, add in a parameter if we don't add in any parameter at all then that just limits a uh, normal sight to the uh, whatever range you have set it at um, we better set it to a few rounds um, and then we can just uh, drag this uh, effect uh, and drop it onto uh, Jane and you can see right away uh, that despite uh, her having a lamp which would allow her to see out to a range of 15 feet um, she can actually only see out to uh, 10 uh, this is a little bit clearer if we look at the uh, player's view um, and if we move uh, Jane around you can see that she's only able to see uh, 10 feet and as we move uh, closer to the NPC over here she's not going to be able to see that NPC until she's pretty much right on top of it uh, so that uh, is a method by which you can uh, limit the vision uh, of a particular character um, to uh, a specific range and you can also as I say give them uh, special vision types uh, using the effects as well so some of the other rule sets have special vision types as well I know that there's one in uh, Pathfinder 2 uh, and I'll link uh, the uh, wiki article uh, in the uh, comments below uh, so that you'll be able to uh, go to that and uh, see if there are any special uh, vision types for the rule set uh, that uh, you're using uh, so I think that's it for uh, vision uh, thanks for uh, watching this series and uh, we'll see you in the next video uh, cheers for now